Word Logic. This is a puzzle game. In fact, it's a few puzzle games, all based around letters and words instead of numbers. I know people see this and think, oh look, another budget game for the Wii U. And while it may look that way, it has way more content than you might expect. First, I need to tell you this was sent to me by the publisher to review. So I'm going to disclose that like usual. There are six games here with a total of 720 puzzles between them. The six games are Criss Cross, Ladders, Crypto, Word Sudoku, Gaps, and Word Sweeper. Since there are only six games, I'm just going to talk about them each in the order that I enjoyed them. From best to not so great. I wouldn't say worst because there really isn't any bad games here. Only disappointing ones. Word Sweeper. This is like Minesweeper meets a crossword puzzle. They give you letters which can be placed on the adjacent square. So you're going to need to look at the squares to figure out the words they're trying to spell. It's quite clever and works really well. As confusing as all the letters can be, if you think logically, you can get it fairly quickly. They have you enter the letters by using the letters on the side of the screen. They're big enough to not cause too many mistakes. I say this because there is that kind of issue with one of these games, but we'll get to it. Crypto. This is one where one of the letters actually represents another letter, and you're going to have to figure out which one it is. The paragraphs that you're trying to decrypt are just famous quotes. Since this puzzle is based on recognizing patterns and finding small things to expand on the larger picture, I found this very hard at times, but I still enjoyed it. The littlest reviewer would often solve the puzzle way before me. I guess he's just better at logically thinking than me. I always started off with a small word, like a two or three letter word, or even better, a one letter word, because that could really only be a few letters, like A or I. And then from there, you kind of figure out what the other letters are going to be, and, and you come up with a quote. Gaps. This kind of felt like a game show where the missing letters in the other boxes make up a bigger word at the top. There was no clues to figure out the words, but it was fairly easy to figure out. Plus the hidden system of telling you which letters were correct and which ones weren't was very easy to do and abuse. This was true in all of the games. In fact, with the exception of the counter on the menu to tell you how many times you've used a hint, there really is no penalty for using hints. You would think they would have used like a three strikes or a limited hint function to make the puzzles challenging, but no, it's completely open to use. Crisscross. This one has you complete a crossword puzzle without the clues to its locations. This one gives you the words that you're going to have to place. And based on how many letters, you can kind of guess where each one goes. My complaint with this one is the word list is too small on the bottom, and you would often hit the wrong word. Now just like the hint system, there's no penalty for anything. So it's not that big a deal, it was just annoying. And the publisher must agree because they told me they're going to fix this in a future update. Ladders. Okay, this one was just unfair for me to put this so low on the list. Honestly, it should be somewhere in the middle. I just suck at these type of games. So to me, it wasn't that fun of a puzzle to play. They have you start with one word and you have to change it to the word at the bottom of the ladder by the time you reach the bottom of the ladder. You do this by changing just one letter. Now this is the type of game that would make Boggle fans very happy as it takes a lot of creative thought to find the right letters to complete the ladder. Word Sudoku. If you're one of those rare people who might remember when I actually reviewed Sudoku Challenge, you'll know that I love Sudoku. However, I dislike this version of it. It's words and letters and they don't flow as well as numbers. They give you one word per puzzle. You have to fit that word in each of the lines and each of the columns. Plus they have to fit in the nine boxes that you see. It's basic Sudoku rules, only with letters. It was confusing to try and remember all the letters in the area. If you used up all the letters that you could use in that puzzle, it would just cross them out, which was nice. But honestly, they should have done this for every line or box that you're trying to work on. It would have made it much more fun and less confusing. Now, one of the great things is that this is available for the Wii U or the 3DS. And there's cross-buy for this. So if you buy it for one, you'll get it for the other one too. I was unable to test the 3DS version, but from what I could see, it's basically the same game, except it looks like the main parts are on the top screen and the letters are on the bottom. Plus on the 3DS version, you can write the letters that you want in a box on the side instead of just pressing the button for them as just an option. I'm not sure why the Wii U version doesn't have this. Probably it has something to do with a different kind of touchscreen. Word logic is way better than I expected. While it's very basic looking, it's fine for the gameplay it holds. I was very surprised on how much I enjoyed playing some of the games it had to offer. Plus the amount of puzzles this game has will take you hours and hours to complete. Also throw in the fact there's a free cross buy with the 3DS. And all this just for $10. So I think it's worth a buy. Well that's my review of Word Logic. Why don't you check out my last review of Skylanders Superchargers. Or my classic review of Sudoku Challenge for the WiiWare. Remember that? Like always you can follow me on Twitter Reviewer where I talk about which games I'm going to do next. And just Nintendo news of the day. And I thank you guys for watching and have a great day.